This girl was cheated by a rich here and went up to the rooftop to jump. But Selim said he didn't know her and it was none of his business if she jumped. Then he had left the scene without hesitation. Sarah scolded him for being a scum and then she came to the rooftop to try to persuade her to get over it. But this scene reminds her of her brother's death. A few years ago, she saw her mom crying her heart out after losing her son. And now this girl was doing the same stupid thing her brother had done. She regrets that she couldn't save her brother before and decides that today she must save the girl. She told the gray-haired girl that if you jumped, it wouldn't be long before everyone forgot about you. Everyone would go on with their lives as if nothing had happened. And the only ones who will be sad will be your loved ones. In the end, Sarah managed to save gray-haired girl. The students downstairs applauded Sarah. The gray-haired girl was taken to the hospital for treatment. When Selim returned home, he was severely reprimanded by his plutocratic father. His plutocratic father said that Selim's behavior was an embarrassment to him and that it didn't deserve the family honor. Selim asked, if I'm not worthy of the family name, then what about you? It turns out that Selim's mom was seriously ill and bedridden. When she needed help the most, her father had an affair with a model. Eventually Selim's mom passed away, and the model became his stepmother. That's why Selim stayed in a hotel all year round and didn't want to come home. Now, father and son see each other hardly at all. But they're fighting like hell. His sister tried to calm both of them down. That made Selim even angrier. The meeting ends in a fight between Selim and his dad. When Selim came to school, he found out that his classmates were accusing him, and even the school's forum was full of curses. Everyone is saying that Selim is a scumbag, which makes Selim extremely irritated. Ali saw that Selim was in a bad mood, so he dragged Selim to the mall for a break. He didn't expect to meet Sarah and her friend at the mall, so Ali invited them to join him for a cup of coffee. Sarah and Selim looked at each other, but neither of them wanted to talk to the other. But then Ali talked about what happened on the rooftop yesterday. Sarah couldn't help but ask Selim why he left the gray-haired girl behind. Ne yapayım bana aşık olduysa? Kimsenin duygularıyla oynamaya hakkın yok senin. Artık kıza ne yaptıysan? Ölümü göze aldı ya, ölümü. Almasaymış. Ruh hastası bir kız. Asıl ruh hastası sensin be. Yeter be. Sana hiçbir şey ispat etmek zorunda değilim. Back at the school, Sarah approached the principal to inquire about gray-haired girl's condition. The principal told her not to worry because the gray-haired girl was fine. Sarah couldn't help but complain that it was all Selim's fault. But the principal says that it's not what she thinks. Just as the principal is about to explain, Selim walks in. When Sarah saw him coming, she made an excuse to leave. And Selim came to ask about the gray-haired girl. The principal told him not to blame himself. It's not his fault. It turns out that the reason why gray-haired girl wanted to jump was because she was already suffering from a serious mental illness. On the other hand, Sarah just went out and passed by Selim's father, who felt a sense of deja vu about Sarah. And he came to the school this time to apologize to Selim because he also knows that he has misunderstood Selim. Plutocratic father hugged Selim and said you didn't embarrass me. The next day, Sarah saw a gray-haired girl's mother apologizing to Selim in front of the hospital. Sarah realized that Selim was really innocent and that she had misjudged him. All of this made her feel a little embarrassed. Sarah asked to go back to school, but the principal said that Selim was going back to school too and asked them to go back together. On the way back, Sarah thinks about how to apologize to Selim. Selim, on the other hand, puts on a haughty expression and a sense of accomplishment as if he finally proved his girlfriend wrong after a fight. How dramatic can a man be in front of his beloved girl? He obviously wanted to talk to her, but he just held his tongue and acted like he didn't care. Finally he waits until Sarah speaks up and apologizes. She said that I had misunderstood you because I hadn't been clear about the situation before. Although Selim is already very happy, he says I forgot about it if you don't mention it. But just when Selim was pleased, he realized that the road in front of him seemed to be a bit blocked. He looked down at the navigation and saw that the road had turned red on the map. He looked at Sarah, who was sitting in the passenger seat, and sighed at his luck. Then he turned the car around and took Sarah to a cafe. With their misunderstanding clear up, their relationship took a step forward and gave them a chance to talk about their lives. It turned out that they were in the same boat. One had lost her father, the other his mother. They both seemed to see themselves in each other. Sarah comes home to find her mom looking at some old photos, and in one of them she spots a stranger. Mom said this was her first love, and she broke up with him decades ago, because he was going to study abroad. And Sarah doesn't know that this man is none other than Selim's father. He also once wanted to help her family, but her mom refused. In the hotel, Selim had just finished his shower, when he overheard the test questions, he and Sarah had finished together on the table. As Sarah automatically appeared in his mind, he couldn't control the smile on his face. Sarah was also thinking about Selim. As she thought about it, a touch of shyness appeared on her angelic cheeks. Soon Selim's exam results came out. He got a B plus for the first time ever. 
When he got home, even his plutocratic father, who had never been very happy with him, praised him. Selim finds Sarah studying and asks if she can't have some fun with her friends besides studying. Sarah replied, can you study a little bit besides playing with your friends? Bilmiyorum farkında mısın ama ne artı alan biriyle konuşuyorsun. Aman ne önemli. Bizim evde bayağı bir gündem oldu bu konu. Selim said he got this result because of her. As a token of his appreciation, he would prepare a surprise for her. But Sarah refused and said she didn't want any surprise. Amazingly, Selim said, well, don't worry, I won't get you a gift. What was he thinking? He doesn't realize that when a girl says she doesn't want something, she wants it. After that, Sarah was going home. Looking at her smile, Selim is absolutely sure that he has fallen in love with Sarah. On the other hand, Pyrisic approached Dolly and said that Selim and Sarah have been getting close lately. So if you still want to pursue Sarah, you should hurry up or else the girl you've been interested in may be someone else's. Ali knew that he couldn't just sit back and wait any longer. Sarah returned home and suddenly there was a knock on the door. But the visitor was something she could not have expected. Poor girl riding in a luxury car to school is mistaken for being from a wealthy family. A wealthy boy stalked her and found her home. Sarah was very confused as to how Ali came to her house. Ali is also surprised and realizes that Sarah is really not born into a rich family. Out of love for Sarah, Ali immediately said that he would keep the secret. Sarah doesn't care if people know that she's from a poor family, but she's disgusted by Ali's sneaky behavior. She strongly urges Ali to leave and never bother her again. Ali leaves in frustration, but as soon as he was about to open his car door, he was stopped by a man called Barbaros. Barbaros is a famous punk in the neighborhood and has always had a crush on Sarah. So when it comes to boring people like Ali, Barbaros never gives him a good attitude. Barbaros warned Ali not to come here again or he'd shave his beard. Then he let Ali go. When Ali returns, he thinks he's got Sarah's secret and feels he can take his relationship with Sarah to the next level. So he invited Sarah to a party with him, but Sarah refused outright and made it clear that Ali was to leave her alone. Later that night, Sarah receives a bouquet of flowers and a dress with a little card signed by Ali. Sarah is speechless. The next day, Sarah goes to the university's recruiting office to find a job at the university for her neighbor's daughter. But unfortunately, there are no jobs at the university right now. Just then Selim arrives. When he finds out that Sarah is worried about a job, he takes out his cell phone and sends a text message. Then he said that he had already found a job for her, as a reward for her tutoring him for so many days. While they were talking and walking, Sarah suddenly fell down. The moment Selim picks her up, the two of them look at each other with affection. Unfortunately, Irisic's follower saw this. She immediately went back and shared the story with Irisic and said that she saw Sarah and Selim being very close to each other. Ali got jealous and said he had to leave for a while. As he turned around, he bumped into Selim before Selim could say hello. Ali flipped him off. Sarah spots the depressed Ali. She took the dress Ali gave her out of her bag and told Ali to stop sending things to her house. The two of them were seen arguing by Selim and the others. Ali didn't want to lose face, so he grabbed Sarah's hand and asked her to stop arguing. Then Ali looked back at Selim and made a bold move as if to provoke him. With no place to take out his anger, Ali races down the highway, but a black car suddenly appeared on the road and cut off his car. Ali's car flew off the road because he couldn't avoid it. Then Ali fainted in the car and lost consciousness. On the other hand, Sarah received a call from the hotel. The hotel wants to prepare a dinner party for a rich man, which is Selim's stepmother's birthday party. Selim has always hated his stepmother, so he didn't attend the dinner. And when the party started, the housekeeper asked the hotel staff to clean the toilet. Even though the manager said the cleaning lady hadn't come yet, the butler asked them to clean it now. Of course, no one wanted to do it, so the hotel manager asked Sarah to clean the toilet. In order to keep her job, Sarah could only nod her head and agree. When Sarah came into the bathroom and saw the dirty toilet, her mind went back to when she was a little girl. At that time, her house was hosting a party which made the toilet dirty. The maid's daughter blamed Sarah for not keeping her friends in line, and her mom ended up cleaning up the mess. But now it was her turn to feel the same way. While Sarah was cleaning the toilet with a bad odor, someone outside the door kept urging her to hurry up. Sarah cried out in frustration. After she came out of the bathroom, she met the principal. The principal realized what was going on when he saw the clothes Sarah was wearing. He comforted Sarah by telling her that he had worked many part-time jobs while studying abroad to earn money for his studies. When the dinner was over, Selim came back too. Coincidentally, Selim saw Sarah dressed as a hotel attendant as soon as he walked in the door. 